Hi guys, it is T-Bone Pearson here, and I'm going to look into script writing software. So, five years ago, I did the best free screenwriting software, basic tutorial, and I got around 23,000 views. Um, then I did one two years ago, I think for my students at the college, and it was how to install and use Trelby, and it got 12,000 views. I'm at the point now where I want to write a script. I have a great idea, I think, and I don't even know if these exist anymore. They probably do. Um, so I'm going to see what's out there for free script writing software. I need something that's that works well, and that's free, because <laughs> I like free, and you guys probably do too. Um, all right, so let's throw in free script writing software and see what happens all right nothing to download to install now I want something also trustworthy I want something actually on my computer I don't want it on the cloud Celtics I've used that before let's go back to this this one this this is Trelby and that's Trelby but I've used Celtics before and I believe they've they took the free software. I think they wrote it so they can do whatever they want with it. But they took the software and made it into like a cloud-based thing that you have to pay for. But I wonder if we can get the free Celtics. Let's try... Because I think... I use Trelby, but I, also, I think I like Celtics a little better. So let's put in Celtics download and see what happens. Celtics download... The Boston Celtics are a good team. Okay. Oh, I guess for a Mac too, right? I'm on a MacBook Pro. All right. So now with these sites here, the soft onic, a lot of times you get like spamware, you get uh, bloatware with it. I want the just the download. See, this looks like it, but again, that's the problem. Even like CNET and all these, you're going to get like maybe a virus. Um, where is a good place to download something nowadays? Perhaps the old desktop apps. This is probably right back to this. And, hmm, how do I get the old one? I used to have it somewhere. I don't know. Let's see, support? Maybe like an older version? I do not know where it is because these guys want to make money now right so what's included in the free basic plan oh I could try this I could try um, the Adobe one there's an Adobe one that I would get free because I teach at the college I get the free Adobe Creative Suite let's try Adobe I could try that out screen writing Thought Adobe Story. How about that? That could be interesting. Because I trust them. I already have that account. So let's do that. Oh, here's Celtics down there. Um, okay, so I'll have to log into my... Oh, am I logged in already? Hopefully. Okay, so this is... You know, if you've got the creative account, you just can go in here and download all the apps you want. So I'm looking for... Now, I use Photoshop for, um, obviously, photos. <laughs> Don't use Illustrator much. Uh, I, years and years ago when I was doing, like, Flash cartoons, I would sometimes use that. Don't know what InDesign does. Probably, like, magazine spreads. Don't know this one, XD. Lightroom's great for photos, but I don't really use it. Uh, but I know a lot of people that do, and they rave about it. Premiere Pro, love it um, for long videos. Uh, where you need multiple layers, um, but for really short ones, especially ones when you're reversing footage a lot, I use Final Cut Pro on the Mac. I love it. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy. Premiere Rush is, I believe, ooh, interesting. I might do a video about that. I believe you can edit on your phone, um, which is pretty cool. I'm, yeah, I wonder why, so you can install it on your desktop, but can I install it on my phone? I've actually never installed any Adobe stuff on my phone. I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus, 
Um, I should look into that as well. Just give me one second here. Do I have a pen? I'm looking for a pen. This is amazing video production quality. Let them wait while you... Okay, so let's... I, I want to do a lot more YouTube videos. I've got a little bit more time. So let's look into... I'll do a video on Premiere Rush. I was really excited about hearing about it a few months ago. Um, and I believe it's for your phone. I think it's maybe a dumbed-down version of Premiere Pro. After Effects I love. Um, Bridge I don't use much. That's just integrating software. Um, <laughs> now this video is supposed to be about screenwriting. Um, and I've went off on a tangent. Hopefully you guys don't mind. You guys can skip ahead if you want. Um, Spark is interesting. I'd like to make a website with Spark as well. I've heard good things about it. I'm sick of using WordPress. I just am. Are you guys? I'm just, it's been around forever. It's clunky. It does a job, but it's not sexy. Even Dreamweaver, it's still around. I used to make websites way back in the day with Dreamweaver. We're going to finally get to story, hopefully. Character animator, wouldn't that be fun? I want to do that too. Okay, you can make little flash cartoons. And you can have the web cam on your face and it animates for you. You just have to build the character. Hmm. Just had a thought. So I'm wondering if I should do like a little cartoon based on my idea because I need to raise a lot of money. I probably need to raise around, um, I'm thinking maybe 30k uh, Canadian to shoot this thing. Um, the last one I worked on um, with John Fennick, he's a producer, uh, cost us 25,000 Canadian. This one might even, this one will be a little bit more I think. This one might actually be about 50,000 Canadian. So I wonder if I did like a cute little cartoon I could raise up money. I also have an, another idea. <laughs> no. Now again, you know, obviously you're watching this because you want to find some free screenwriting software, but you know, you know, ultimately you want to make a film. So that, that, that's why I'm allowing myself to go down a tangent here. Um, what was my thought? Oh yeah, I had this thought this morning where I would sell shares in the film. Um, hopefully attract people with a sizzle reel, like uh, maybe like a little animated thing. Um, I'm pitching people uh, currently um, where I would keep 51% of the shares and I would sell off 49,000, <laughs> not 49,000 shares. I would sell off 49% of the film um, in chunks as shares. Uh, just a thought. I'll tell you how that's going to go. Because um, especially if you have a really good idea and you have a track record where you have some success, um, you know, so I've done well in some of my projects that maybe someone would like to invest. I'm going to write that down as well. Hopefully this isn't too boring. You're just looking at a, me talk and there's nothing, nothing on the screen really. Um, you know, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. Um, all right, so like a 51-49 split with shares. And I've written up a legal contract. So, you know, they could, if it go, turns into a TV show, I'm not quite sure where it's going to go. It's gonna, either going to be a film, a TV show, or a web series. Um, but they would get a share of the film, of the idea, uh, forever. So if it crashes and burns, you get nothing. If it uh, becomes a TV show or a web series that keeps going, making money, you just keep getting paid, I guess. Um, you know, or you could sell your shares for more money or something. Or you get a cut of the money coming in. Okay, in copy. Where's story? Did I miss it, guys? I swear. So these are ones what I already have launched. I already have installed. Where the heck is? Oh, maybe install. Ah, uh, all. That doesn't make any sense. Have they got rid of story? I'm confused. What is going on here, guys? All right, let's go to assets. No. Hmm. Okay, let's type in Adobe Adobe Story. Let's go to the Wikipedia and find out what happened. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. All right, so it's been discontinued. On January 23rd, 2018, Adobe announced they would be discontinuing Adobe Story CC. Why? Why, why'd they do that? It's part of the you know, it feeds into all the other stuff. It couldn't have been that expensive. I guess no one was using it? Man, give us some time, Adobe. Maybe it sucked? I don't know. Hey, let's go Adobe Story Reviews. 
Adobe Story Reviews. All right. So, what's the deal with this? You know what? Let's go to YouTube. We love YouTube, right? Let's let's go to YouTube and say Adobe Story. What the heck? That's depressing. Um, has finally returned. Maybe they're just updating it for now. Anyways, it's not available, so I gotta keep looking. Dang! All right. What are we thinking? Back to Celtics? But I have to find a safe version of it. I don't want bloatware. I don't want stuff on my on my Mac. So I don't know where I'm gonna get this Celtics download. I don't know any. I haven't downloaded stuff for a while. Mac, sure. Hmm. From Soft Onic. Let's have a look at this. I don't know if I, I don't know who to trust anymore. Comment below if you guys know a good download site that's safe to download things. Up to downtown. Oh my gosh. Mac update. These are all dicey, I guess. Celtics. Ooh. Dicey. Because they're, you know, they're obviously offering it, so soft. I think I've used them before. I don't know. Dicey, dicey. What else we got? Oh, well, Tom's Guide. I used to like them. Six alternatives to, why? What's wrong with Celtics? Let's check this out. All right. This is Tom's Guide. Freeware. <laughs> oh, great. The download is currently not available. Okay, they used to be trusted. They're trusted. Tom, you failed me, buddy. All right. Top alternatives to Celtics. Pages. Um, what do we got? Story list. Um, Dropbox. What? I have Dropbox, but Celtics script. Buy download. Um, those aren't screenwriting programs. What do we got here? From Softpedia. Okay, let's test these guys out. Softpedia, like, let's go. Let's see if these guys are any good. Pedia virus, uh, spam, malware. Let's see if something pops up, right? Here we go. Hundreds of malicious apps posing as a virus. On Softpedia. Hmm. What's this here? Okay, so Softpedia free from any malware. Well, it really depends on your definition of malware. There's no viruses. An antivirus might defect, detect a few apps as malware. Um, some developers decide to include adware in their installers. That's what I'm scared of. Um, software tries to find. Da -da -da -da. You know, I think these guys aren't that bad. Let's see what if it's actually a clickable link. Now, where were we? Um, we're going to go with Softpedia. What's this here? Celtics. Da, 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 da. I don't know these guys. I don't know them either. Let's try Softpedia. I'm risking it here. Download now. Freeware. Now, I don't want this to go to the uh, the new one. I hope it. Hopefully, it's not that. A full feature application. Okay, so let's try this link here and give it a shot. I hope that this works. Hmm. Okay. Secure download. Ugh, this is dicey. Um, let's go to EU, e, US, all right, let's see, we want the old version of Celtics, it was really good, all right, so it's a .dmg file, 
it's almost there. Let's go to show and folder, show and finder. Oh, okay. Let's double click. Hopefully my pirates don't take over my machine. Okay, drag the Celtics icon to your applications folder to complete the, okay. My applications folder is, oh, over here? I haven't been on a Mac for a while, so please forgive me. Ooh. All right, so, oh, there it is. Okay, so we can grab this over to applications and drop it in there. Does that do it for us? Why is Google Drive doing an app backup? Hmm, I'll figure that out on another day. All right, so we're going to Celtics. Okay, there it is there. Let's open it up. Ah, uh, yes. Geez, this is getting dicey, but security preferences allow installation of only apps from the App Store. Okay, well, I'm risking things here, but let's go to settings, and then what? Applications? Where are you? Where are you? La 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 la. Forgive me, guys. Applications. Okay, let's try opening that again and see what it says. Where do I go? Okay. So, where do I change that? Let's look at this. In the finder, locate the app you want to open. Don't use Launchpad. Okay, so control click. Um, yeah, how do I do this? You can grant exception for a blocked app by clicking open anyway. So let's go to ooh, Apple system. Prefer oh, up here. Apple system preferences, right? Oh, okay. It's the same thing as hitting settings and go to security and privacy. There we are. And Celtics was blocked from opening because it's not from an identified developer. All right, so we're gonna to go to open anyway. And open. Whoop. Oh, that's okay, it's just a font. That's fine. Hopefully that's not a virus. <laughs> well, you'll, I can be the, uh, yeah, this looks familiar. All right, so let's go to the wonderful Wizard of Oz. Okay, sample projects. So let's start um, with our script here. So let's go film. I have used this before. And What I'm going to do is, so this is how I, I think this is it. So this is the one, it's like a download. It's only on your computer. It's not in the cloud, I believe. Um, now, from Celtics, save to Celtics. Uh-oh. Now, what's this save here? Can I save? Okay, so I can save it on my computer. Excellent. So that is good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video. So this is how you get. Celtics installed on your computer. Um, again, do it at your own risk. I'm sort of risking it, but this is um, a program I've used in the past. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was just as good as Trelby, uh, if not better. Uh, I may change my mind. Uh, we'll see in the future video. I'll probably shoot it or keep a roll after this. Uh, but for now, that's how I came to using Celtics for my software. I've got a meeting on Thursday. Today's Monday. Um, where it'd be nice if I had something written out because I'm pitching a producer. So I'm going to be writing it up in Celtics. I'll probably do some videos if you want me to. So if you want me to do screenwriting stuff and show you the process of this, please like the video uh, and subscribe and turn on notifications. And throughout this week, especially today, tomorrow, yeah, getting to Thursday, I'm going to do quite a few videos, I think, especially if people are responding to it and want to know the process. But you just saw the process of me trying to find some free script writing software. Um, I think I'm starting up at the school, at the college, uh, in January. So um, this is good. This is good for me to find out what's out there, where to download it from. And because a lot of times students are tight for money, 
um, because of you know tuition and rent and everything. And so free is good. All right, so I'm going to end the video for now. Um, look forward to the next one where I'm going to be <laughs> making my way through this program. And I will talk to you soon, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Cheers. Bye.